Hello, in this video we will talk about Python ID and Code Editor. A Code Editor is a tool that is used to write and edit code. They are usually lightweight and they can be great for learning. However, once your program gets larger, you need to test and debug your code. That's where IDs comes in. An ID integrated development environment by which you can understand your code much easier than a text editor. It usually provides features such as build automation, code linting, testing and debugging. This can significantly speed up your work. The downside is that IDs can be complicated to use. Now we will talk about Python Idle ID. Python Idle ID is totally free and is for beginner. When you install Python, Idle is also installed by default. This makes it easier to get started in Python. Its major features include the Python cell window, interactive interpreter, auto completion, syntax highlighting, smart indentation and a basic integrated debugger. Now I will show you how to use idle id. So for that you have to open the idle id. Just type idle and this will appear and open it. So you can above you can see that idle cell 3.10.6. You can type your python code here also. So I'm just printing hello world message. So type your code and you can press enter to see the output. In below you can see that it is showing auto suggestion to complete your code. So you can press enter and you can see that in above code I have a mistake and it is showing that I have a syntax error here. So here you can see that I made a syntax error because I have not type quotation after the word. So I am just copying it and again pasting and I am, I am giving the quotation and then pressing enter and you can see that output is actually coming. The feature of this idle cell is it is showing with a colorless format. Also you can add two numbers 2 plus 3 and it will show the output here. Also you can save your work by clicking the file and save as and I am selecting desktop here and I am giving a name python file and then you have to press dot and py the extension py for python file and you have to press the save button and you can see that here we have a python file so if you open it again by right clicking edit with idle and if you click here the file will again open and you can directly see your previous work or you can see your previous code which you have already executed in past also you can run this file as a module for that you need to erase all the unnecessary code from here and just keeping the necessary codes to execute as a module so now i just taken this line and one more line i will write that is 2 plus 3 and this time i will save my file and i will run the module so if you will run now this will open your idle cell automatically and in the cell section you will be able to see your output of this file so this is how you can use this ide with your cell and with your text editor. You can write your code in the text editor and when you run your code then you will be able to see the output in the idle cell itself. So this is very much easy to understand and debug your code, isn't it? Idle is a decent ID for learning as it's lightweight and simple to use. However, 
it is not for optimum for larger projects. You can use Python idle ID and let us know is it useful or not. So I am ending this video here. See you in the next video.